Delta Wolf, we are green light for Operation Ghost Mode. So she spotted a submarine out here in this water. Trying to impersonate a gator, huh? and everything. He's floating along. We got a new iguana buoy in the canal. So, <laughs> got you iguana. We won't be able to retrieve that one for the customer. Sometimes we'll take a photo of it in the water so we can prove to him we got it. But the end result is the end result. His giant poops won't be here anymore. Look right here. They got it there. That's probably it right there. Nice Pomeranian sized poop over okay. there. Oh, this way and I'll be right here. My bit is actually still being able to try to retrieve him. It's Friday. We're headed home soon. Gotcha. Under the chain? See under the chain? Right. You moved, you moved, you moved, you moved. Behind the tree. No, she's further down. Thank you. Whoa, she's down. She's not just further down, she's all the way down. My parallax was a little off, she had gotten out, but uh, yeah, it still worked out. Hey, Miss, I think it was Millie, right? Goes to this guy right below the eye over here. Check that out. Worked out nicely. Got you a guana. If I see an iguana, I don't know the same one. He's further off. There he is. You ready? Yeah. I think it's a big iguana. Hang on, I can barely see it. Oh, I think I'm out to find the head. Oh, we're in focus now. Hang on. The head is over this way. Huh? He moved. He moved. Yeah, I saw him leave. Leaping lizards. Still right there, right there, right there. Right there, yeah, look, right here. Right up. You got a backstop got from here. It uh, on a roll of approval, knocked right through the top of her head there, and we're going to put another one directly perpendicular. <laughs> Got you again. Okay guys, we're at this property because these people love their roses and their orchids. And you can see they have fantastic orchids. And they also have some really fantastic dogs like Tibetan Spaniels and 
beautiful standard poodles. So um, normally the dogs keep the iguanas away up here, but this year it's just not working. And so they said the iguanas have eaten a number of the orchids and they're not having it. So um, normally a little bitty iguana is something we can't get very easily. They don't go in traps. They don't, um, let me make sure this isn't loaded. Yeah. And, um, but you can shoot them. You can definitely shoot them. There's one right here, just about a foot down from that drainage pipe. And normally the, in this bush, the house is behind it, so I can't shoot here. But he's out on the corner with no house behind him. If we catch this angle, we're actually going out towards the water. He is about he said a left foot or right at a drainage Five pipe. or seven yards away. He's a foot down from the curve of the pipe and about eight inches to the left of the white pipe. Little bitty guy. Doing like a um, eight hole. Safety off. Got you, Iguana. <laughs> God, he's a incredibly small target. So this is why the air guns are so important to our business because if I tried to pull that iguana, it just would have disappeared in the bushes and uh, Bougainvillea will stab me if I try to grab it and um, it's never going to go in the trap. It's rare that we get that small of an iguana in the trap at high numbers. So the air gun gets them every time. Casper in action. Doing a stupidly close shot. I have fish in the water, y'all. Like an eight foot fish or something, like a tarpon or something. I don't see it now. I thought it was a shark, it was so big, but it had like scales. It was a fish. Gone. Jermaine's trying to get our iguana out of the water. The fish is back. Y'all see that giant fish in the water? The thing is like six, eight feet. Jermaine, it's right there in the water again. You see it? You see that fish, y'all? He is freaking huge. I don't know, a tarpon maybe? I mean, he's monstrous. When I saw him, I thought he was a manatee. Gotta be at least six feet. Where'd he go? He's still sitting there. The sun shines on him and catches him. Some more fish. They're following him. He's moving. He went over there. There was like some Jack Cravel or something that came by. Jermaine fishing with a dead iguana. They'd be nuts if he came up and did it. We already got one right here. There's an iguana out on the dock. You can barely see him here. I'm gonna try to take it from far because they're pretty skittish here. Oh, we catch the back of that yacht. Let me see. Okay. Okay, he came out for us. He came out for us. It's like uh, 25, 30 yards. He went over the side. He went over the side? Yeah. No, he's down there. He's right there. Just left of that pole. Oh, there's several iguanas. He's looking. I'm not sure if I'm aiming in on the same thing as you. Right next to I the see pole him, I see him, I see him. There was another iguana. Whoa, you just he felt that. This is at range. Great Hi. disrespect. Took him over the side. And oh, three other ones had their heads up. Okay, There's two at the, right pole. the pole. Heard that right at the pole. Mm-hmm. He felt that too, actually. Oh, yeah.
Jasper is putting in action. Look at this. I went right over him. Got a wiggler down there. And a zombie walked past him. Let's see if we can go get the zombie. The wiggler just fell in the water. Okay, so she's about to try to perform an exorcism. Let's go check it out. Because of the yacht, we gotta come from this way. Got one about 10 yards away at the corner of the dock. There Whoa, we go. Look at the action. He dancing. He getting down on it. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, we got here one about 30 yards away. We're gonna go ahead and take the shot on max power because we can, because it's the ghost. And um, we still got our music though. Like that. Took him over. Got your bump. Yeah, go on. We just walked up on an iguana right here. I'm gonna put my power on medium power because we don't have too much wind. Only about a 15 yard shot. Oh no, you can check the palms for the wind. Took him over the side. Let's run with that net and see if we can't grab the iguana. There's a good chance you may see another one. I know I Yeah, look, 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 look. Oh. He just went down. She's going down for him. It's pretty deep. He seems to spin him way out there. Though. Now he's way, way out there. Right. It's so much deeper than it looks. Hey, it worked. Yes. You can get him with the net now. Well, let's get close. Let's go. Right here. Let me see the net. I got it. 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 Right there. Here it is. He's kind of half floating. Got him. Oh, let's check the shot. Oh, skimmed right through the top of his head behind the eye. Got you, Iguana. There's one on top of the bush, and there's one on the dock. Let's go. Yeah, I agree. I can shoot this iguana over the boat right there. That's some straight disrespect. Like I think it needs another one. Him. Yeah. You lift it back up. Okay. That one's out. 
We're out of pellets. We're gonna reload and we're gonna look for the one on the dock. I mean, just just put him down to the shimmer of the water. Here's the we got our reload going. We're using JSB Hades 22 cal. Which are 15.89 uh, grain. Yeah, I did too. It's more to the right of He probably walked over. This one worked out though. Got you a guana. <laughs> it's up around this corner over here. The guana right here. Right here in the tree. One in the, in the bushes too. But there's one in the tree right here. I'm gonna put it on 10. That's a little guy on the left hand side. He's facing the inward part of the tree. Got him in the head. Oh, I think he's gonna fall for us too. Give him a moment to think about it. Nice shot. He needs an encouragement shot. Oh, there's a tiny baby one going up on the right hand side right there. Do you see it? Yeah. Right there? Just landed in the bushes. I'm gonna knock down our other guy. He wanted that encouragement shot. Of course, he caught the side of the tree with no eyeballs. Okay. We'll get him down. Oh, for me. Did you see that he spun and grabbed with his back leg? Yeah, that's just all involuntary reflex. Oh. That's involuntary too. Got you a guy. <laughs> we think there's another one in this bush. We're going to shake this bush. How you doing? Hey, what's up, buddy? He was on that dead frog. He landed right over here, sir. Curious. Got the baby one too. Oh, oh, I see. And we've got a backstop. Let's do this. We're gonna put it on low power so we don't get some crazy ricochet going somewhere. Nobody's in any of the boats right now, unlike earlier. And we're gonna sit so we get a low shot. He is about 15 yards away. I think he approved. Made him do a 180. Your tail wag. Let's look again. I did hold right over him. Oh yeah, he's just wagging about it. Let's go check him out. I don't want him to jump in the water. I'll bring a net. Shot. And hey, although I held me. over him and hit him in the neck, so I still didn't hold hot enough, and look, it came out his ear. Whew. There's the ear hole. We're going to go ahead and put this guy down. Got you a guana. Hey guys, there's a storm moving in. You can see that we're losing tons of light, even though it's only like 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, the weather's supposed to drop temperature about 30 degrees in the next six, seven hours. And so we're uh, gonna get this one. I'm sorry, I have people watching me and acting kind of funny. Took him over the side. Yeah, it looks like a kill shot. I hear a thing 
freaking. He's bright orange. That's a big boy. It's so deep here, we're not gonna get him. He's gonna go with the current. This is a real channel that full ships come through, so uh, you can see he's still sinking down there. He's light. But uh, got you iguana. It still gets them the result. We've been working here a long time and pulling the iguanas, so he's one of the stragglers. He probably lives in this large ficus and came down because it's breeding season. Got you iguana. Rain took the iguana pool. We're going to take our net to it. See if we can get him. Yeah, he's off the bottom of the uh, canal. Ooh, the current's strong. Yes, it is. Okay, we just hit bottom. Oh, I moved you, but I didn't get it. This has some sort of polarized lens. He is kind of hard to see, even for me. Okay, one bottom. Pull it towards us. Gotta have you. We've got to. We've got to, we've got to, because we do! We've got to, big orange iguana! He's not as big as I thought he was, but he is as bright. So, let's see if we can find the shot. Look at that shot. I held just a little left because the wind was just a kicking, caught him right behind the eye. I was aiming somewhere around here in front of the eye when I took the shot. So, got you iguana. Whew, look how this wind's picking up out here. Yeah, the storm's coming in. It's the kind of stuff conditions she's shooting out here. We're going in before it rains on us. The shot was about 25 yards. Oof. Okay, so we just got done filling in two holes at this house that Spiny Tails have been living in, and um, we're pretty confident that there's none around anymore. We did some monitoring monitoring techniques, and um, but they still have one next door, look behind me on the roof, over my shoulder. I don't want her to see me looking. I'm gonna try to walk up to this uh, this column and take the shot off the column. In the crack. Oh! Oh my goodness, it flung everywhere. Huh? Oh, what are you waving at us? Hey, buddy. Got you a photo.